It's been about 10 years now that I'm working on blood brain bars. So uh, what we know right now, so the, the blood brain bar is very complex. There's multiple cell types. There's the endothelial cells, and then you have the pericytes. So uh, wrapping around those uh, small vessels in the brain that are called capillaries. And what I've been showing in the past few years is these pericytes that do unwrap uh, the capillary blood vessels, they start detaching, they degenerate, degenerating with aging. And we found that this is a process that is accelerated uh, with dementia. So what we are doing right now with animal models as well as human, uh, human clinical um, data sets, we are trying to understand why and how those pericytes detach the brain vasculature. And the problem of that is the, the blood-brain barrier becomes leaky. We, we called it leaky. You have blood toxins coming from the blood going into the brain, which is not good to have in the brain, so the neuron starts to die, and that's where we see a cognitive decline um, starting. So the idea of the lab is just to understand the mechanisms, how those pericytes detach, and try to find a therapy to, to, to make them functional again, to maintain that barrier that is very important for brain health. Yeah, so we know a lot about the crosstalk between endothelial cells and pericytes, and uh, especially the, the crosstalk that is uh, linked to blood, uh, PDGF receptor beta, so it's platelet-derived growth factor beta, and there is PDGF, PDGF BB signaling between pericytes and endothelial cells. That's very important in utero to form the blood-brain bar. And we know that this particular crosstalk gets dysfunctional as we age, and so we, t we start to understand why this is happening. And uh, my lab is focusing on the fact that the endothelium uh, gets dysfunctional, gets activated, more pro-inflammatory, I would say, which has an impact on the second layer of the blood-brain bar, which, where we see the pericytes. And we know that these uh, pro-inflammatory pro cytokines released from the endothelial cells and other cells will uh, impact pericyte functions and make them dysfunctional. So we are looking at um, a few um, um, cell adhesion molecules like VCAM1, ICAM1 at the endothelial level. And we know that there is uh, communication with the pericytes. When the, these endothelial cells starts to have VCAM1 and ICAM1 on the luminal side, we know that pericytes starts to detach because VCAM1 and ICAM1 are very important for leukocytes adhesion and crossing of leukocytes into the brain. So we know that pericytes needs to detach to get those white blood cells into the brain. But the problem is some pericytes don't reattach. So which means that the blood-brain barrier doesn't uh, uh, stay you know, uh, functional. So we, they start, we start to see some leakage. Uh, so yeah, uh, so we are starting to, to look at uh, what are the the, the, the real uh, crosstalk between these two cells in using animal models, especially.